Okay, so I want to find the Cartesian equation of the plane that basically passes through these two points or contains these two lines over here. So I know that I can use the direction vector of my first line as my first direction vector for this plane. And then I can use this second direction vector of the second line here as the second direction vector of my plane. Now I know that I want to find my normal vector and I'm going to do that by cross multiplying my two direction vectors. So that's just going to be five, negative four and six. And I like to write cross multiplication on top of each other. It makes it a bit easier for me to do. So now I'll cross multiply these two vectors over here. So my X component is negative four times negative four this times this minus six times negative three. My y component is always negative. Well, there's always a negative in front of it. It's not always negative. And I have five times negative four minus six times two. And then my z component is just five times negative three minus negative four times two. So now I'll just calculate my X, Y, and Z components. So this is just 16 plus 18. This is negative, negative 20, minus 12, and the last one is negative 15 plus 8. Basically, my normal vector is just 34, 32, and negative 7. Now, I can use my normal vector for my Cartesian form of my plane, which is AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equals to zero. I know that the normal vector is my A, B, and C. So 34X plus 32Y minus 7Z plus D equals to zero. And I just have to sub in a point for X, Y, Z and find my D value. I only have one point in this question, 445. So I'm going to sub that in for my X, Y, and Z. And I'll just do this calculation. 34 times 4 plus 32 times 4 minus 7 times 5 is 229. So D is just negative 220. Nine. Now I can rewrite the Cartesian equation as 34x plus 32y minus 7z minus 229 equals to zero.